Yo, what is up guys and welcome in another Track Day R video. Today I've got some other news for you guys. The big man himself has done some more work on the rider physics and the rider effect on the bike. I'm gonna leave as always the change log down below. Wanted to show you guys my new gear for today. Gear and a helmet, rocking the uh, white FXR kit. Um, the work that has been done pretty much uh, covers the um, the way that the bike handles the bumps correlated to the rider so the bike is gonna move more freely under the rider and the rider absorbing some impacts is going to give back the feedback to the bike so it's going to result in a much more precise feeling of pretty much the overall riding so without further ado let's jump into the track and show you a couple of laps okay so here we are on track I decided to uh, change the third person camera because I feel like this camera is gonna give you a little bit more of a perspective on what the new animation does. So as you can see the rider is going to move according to the way that the bike handles. So pretty much to compare it kind of looks a little bit like the old MX vs ATV games but in this case the rider moving also has an effect on how the bike handles so the weight that it's moving is going to affect the actual physics so it's not just something visual and I have to say as a first implementation of it it's looking very very nice I can actually switch cameras and give you the classical camera that I use so you can have a little bit more of an understanding of what this does so the whipping hasn't been touched yet but as you can see it's already starting to feel a lot better a lot smoother the transition from the takeoff to the jump is starting to feel very very good very connected so we're gonna be working on the whip in the future as of right now everything is still the same as before but with the latest changes that have been done it helps to connect everything much much more smooth smoothly which gives you a better experience overall I'm really digging this new uh, way that the rider kinda handles the bumps and as a very very first build let's say it's feeling very good I don't know if it's going to keep refining it I wouldn't really I don't really know what to say because as of right now it looks like it's going very good maybe we could have it to read oh shit Maybe we could have it to read a little bit smaller bumps as well and like inside of the corners when the track gets a little bit bumpy and maybe have more animation on larger impacts. Maybe that could be another thing that we could change or we can uh, add to the current physics. But yeah, super quick video today guys. This update just came out for the dev testers. I wanted to bring it to you guys as soon as possible because after a couple of laps I saw that it was pretty solid and I could actually show it to you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.